Welcome to another episode of the Star Maker's Guide to the Star Made Galaxy. You know, if I had an engineer and he said, Captain, the engines have taken all she can, and then she can't take no more. I'd just tell him to add more thrusters. The Hyperflux Thruster Coil, also known as thrusters for short, are the only way to increase the thrust of your ship. Thrusters have 100 HP and a 0% armor rating. A core without anything attached can go pretty fast. But as soon as you start adding blocks, your mass will increase by 0.1 per block to be exact. You can view your thrust and mass stats up here. Dock ships will not be included in these figures, but weight will also be affected by dock ships or turrets. Your thrust does not affect your ability to turn. This is only affected by your mass. Larger ships will turn slower no matter how many thrusters you add. Thrusters mainly affect your acceleration and indirectly your top speed. The primary limits on speed in StarMade is the server set speed limit. But with a sufficiently high speed limit for the server, your acceleration curve can eventually cap the top speed your ship can reach. Thrust is a matter of balancing your thrust and mass. The exact acceleration depends on your thrust and mass, but the exact number can also be affected by lag. In this recording, you see by the end of the track at 122 meters away, I was only getting about 20 kilometers an hour, but when I was not recording, I was able to get around 40. A lone thruster will give you a boost of one thrust. But when you start adding more thrusters within the group, it gets a little trickier. Thrusters also give you a grouping bonus, depending on your arrangement. It is governed by this rather intimidating looking calculation. Let me simplify it for you. There are really only two things you need to keep in mind. First on the left are the sum of dimensions. This merely means the maximum length the group extends in any of the three dimensions. It is calculated by adding how far the group extends in any direction. For example, this group of 64 in a straight line will give you a boost of 64 for length, plus 1 for height, and 1 for depth. Your sum of dimensions will then equal 66. But if you were to arrange it in a 4x4x4 four by four by four block, you'll only get a boost of 12. 4 plus 4 plus 4. You'll also get a boost for the block part of the equation, but I'll cover that later. Interestingly enough, it more depends on the thrusters extending in any one direction and not how many dimensions you cover. If you look at this set of 20 blocks extending in a straight line, or placed in the three dimensions, you receive the same boost. The benefits of this mechanic is that it allows your total sum of dimensions to exceed the length of your ship by changing direction. But do understand, blocks placed within the dimensions that have already been covered, like this, will not provide a boost to your sum of dimensions. But what it does boost is the other relevant part of the equation, that is your total number of blocks. Thus adding extra blocks together like this will still give you a boost to your thrust. Thank you for watching my video. If you would like to support this project, please rate, comment, and subscribe.